Today, I've got an exclusive look at a brand new YouTube live streaming feature that you may even have available to you right now. Well, we're gonna jump right in and have a look at this feature, which YouTube, I believe, are calling something like overlay for breaks. That probably doesn't mean a lot right now, but I'm gonna explain it to you. Let's jump right in. So this feature is gonna require you to be on YouTube on desktop and is going to be integrating with a third-party live stream encoder like OBS, Ecamm, any encoder that will allow you to add a browser source. So that's the first thing you need to know. If you're a mobile live streamer and you're streaming straight from the YouTube app, this feature isn't for you. This feature isn't available in that format as far as I can tell so far. But stay tuned because I don't have all the details yet. This is just like a first look of what I have discovered here on desktop. So you can see here, I'm just on YouTube in general. I can go into studio to get to my live stream dashboard, or I can just go up to create and go, go live, which will kick me into the same place. We'll just let that load up for a second. And so in this main uh, dashboard area here for streaming, where I can go uh, live, and stream right away, stream with a webcam, just like an off-the-cuff stream with no bells and whistles. I can schedule a stream over here. But as I pointed out in a video a few years ago, is they do have what's called channel level settings. And up until now, there's only been like your monetization defaults, like whether you know how the mid-rolls appear on live streams. But if you click on it from from now, like if you go have a look at yours right now, you'll probably have this feature. So if I click on that, you'll see the aforementioned monetization defaults, nothing in there has changed, but there's this new option called overlay for breaks. This is what we're gonna be looking at today. When you first go into it, you're gonna be seeing this set up an overlay for your breaks. And if you have a look at it, it says this overlay will need to be integrated to your third party encoder to work. Like I mentioned, the overlay will appear when ads aren't available. So what happens is you're gonna be able to trigger this to take a break on your many hour live stream. So you need to go to the loo, as we say, grab a drink, uh, have, a, have a meal. You'll be able to trigger this in your YouTube uh, live stream dashboard. And it's going to play a video or a default overlay if of YouTube's choosing uh, in that place as like a, a be right back type screen. But it's allowing you to pick an actual video to play. So you can play some, some piece of content from your existing YouTube video library on your channel, or you can make a, a dedicated video for that that you can put in there. We'll go over the details on that in a minute. So here is the screen where I can tell out, well, I just want to go over the YouTube default. It's, it's like a, like a lo-fi girl style animation that sort of rotates through scenes. Uh, nothing too special on that. Um, but you can choose from your own video. So let me show you what that looks like, first of all, because you need to set this up before you, you know, trigger it and do all the other things. So if I pull that up, what it's going to show me is videos from my content library. And you can see at the top here, it says videos must be public or unlisted and allow embedding, which is important because we're using browser source to add this to our third party live streaming software. Uh, premieres, sponsor only, monetized videos, and those with copyright strikes are ineligible. So it's just going to show me the ones that are available. And I believe it's also going to be based on length. And we'll talk about what that means in a minute when we get to a, the section where we uh, specify the length of our break. Yeah. Um, for my example, is I'm just going to use my membership, channel membership announcement from a couple of years ago for this particular thing. So I'm going to put that in there. You can see it's now selected there. It's a bit like adding a, a trailer to your scheduled live streams. And you can see this one is like, happens to be three minutes and 22 seconds. So just keep that in mind. Once I lock that in, you'll see that it's given me a, um, a very specific URL. Now I'm not too concerned about showing this URL on the video because this is like unique to me in the sense of if you, if somebody else uses it, it's just going to put my videos on your overlay. So, Hey, knock yourself out, but it's only going to allow to be triggered from my live streams. So, you know, it's useless to anybody else, but you can reset it. If for some reason you don't feel comfortable, you can click reset and it will reset the code. So this is the code for it to get it to work uh, for my particular stream.
Okay, this is how it works. You're gonna copy the URL in your encoder. You're gonna add it as a browser source on OBS, you can do that. In Ecamm, you can do that. Uh, I believe EVMAPS, which is a web-based, allows you to do that. Any, any of the services that allow you to add a browser source, you're good to go. So you paste the URL and adjust the width and height to be the stream resolution, which is important. So if you're streaming at 1080p, make sure it's 1920 by 1080. If you're still doing a 720 stream, make sure that the, that the browser source size is the same matching, whatever your canvas is in OBS and Ecamm, just make it match that. In OBS in particular, you want to enable shutdown source when not visible. In some software, if there's nothing being triggered, it, it's transparent anyway. So just be mindful of that. And then click okay. And we're all done. And it says here, gives you a little, little information about testing. Before you go live, test the overlay by navigating to a stream dashboard and clicking start break, which is what I'm going to show you in just a second. So I'm going to close that out. I need a, a, a test stream to show, showcase this. So what I'm going to do is I am going to create a new stream. So usually once you create it, you're straight into the dashboard. Let me just go back a step here. If I go back out, you'll see that I have a scheduled live stream. I didn't schedule a thumbnail, so it's just using my channel art for the thumbnail. But as you see, it is unlisted and so forth. So I'm just going to go back in there. Now, this is the live stream dashboard where you, which you really should have open when you're live streaming to YouTube. Um, you'll get the chat on the right hand side there where you can do all the chat stuff. You have all your sort of analytics and maybe pinning some product for shopping and doing all that. You can do all that in here. How, how do we trigger this? How do we get it to work? Firstly, we need to paste, set up that browser source. Now I've set up the browser source in Ecamm because that is my live streaming software of choice. But what happens is I'm going to come up here to this little stopwatch in the top right here. It says start break. So when I click on this, we're going to see a little dialog box that says uh, taking a break, question mark. Choose how long you'll be away. We'll show ads to applicable users so your stream will keep earning. YouTube does not change your sound settings. Remember to mute your mic because you're sending it through as a browser source and it's going to be playing a video of audio. It then this is on you that when you go, when you trigger this, take a break that you mute your microphone. Otherwise, if you talk whilst the video is playing, then that's going to come through on your stream. The other thing to notice here that we can set the duration to one minute, three minutes or five minutes. Now, if you need longer after you set it, there's the ability to um, help out with that. Let's go back to the first paragraph here of this dialogue. We'll show ads to applicable users so your stream will keep earning. So what happens is when you trigger this, what YouTube will do is see out of the people who are in your audience watching at the time, who's due for an ad or, you know, it's, it hasn't had an ad recently so forth. That could be dependent on how you've got your mid-roll set up and how soon they had come into your uh, live stream have they just come in have they been there for a while so some people and we've tested this some people will get a youtube ad and they get kicked back to your to your video that's that's being played some people who have premium or um, have recently had an ad and don't get shown an ad will just get your video that is playing as you'll be right back that is keeping the people basically entertained or and or informed whilst you're taking your break so now what i can do is set it for a set amount of time now, when I click start, what's going to happen is that's going to trigger that to start over in the software that I'm using. So in my case, Ecamm, it could be OBS for you or whatever you're using. You'll see that browser source light up and start playing. So be mindful that if A, if you have scenes, for example, in Ecamm, OBS, that you might have a scene, make sure that you're in the right applicable scene for that to happen. You don't need to cut to a scene, but if you might have some sort of global setting where it's on all scenes, so it doesn't matter where you are at the time, which scene you're on, it's going to override everything. It's going to be the top level browser source that's going to overlay over everything. That's the old ideal way of doing it. Okay. Over on uh, this screen here, you're going to see my Ecamm. I'm just in a scene right now. Now I've already applied down here, YouTube ad break. I've just set it up as a, as, a, as a browser source widget. You can see here, it's the browser source. I've pasted my URL in there. I've made it match 1920 by 1080, and it's all locked in place. So I'm just going to cancel out of that. I don't need to make any changes. I've locked that so I don't accidentally move it in Ecamm. But you can do the same thing in OBS. Place it as the top level, so it's going to appear over everything. So now, you saw that I've selected a video. I'm going to select the three-minute option. 
and I'm going to click start over here. And as that goes, you'll see over here on Ecamm, it starts playing. Now you'll notice it's playing my video, which is the video that I selected, my membership video. Just in the bottom there, you can't see it where the, where the Ecamm dialogue is. It says there's a little overlay here by YouTube. It says taking a break and there's a timer that tells them how long until we come back from the break, which is really handy. Now, what I can do here, there's a couple of options back over in the YouTube studio. You can see there's a little countdown clock. It tells me how long it's got to go, two minutes, 16 seconds. I can end it early if I wanted to. Now I do that, I'll get a dialogue. It'll, it'll ask me if I want to end early. I'm going to cancel that because I need to show you another feature that if you uh, use up all your time, what happens next? And remember the video that I've chosen is three minutes and 22 seconds. I've only chosen a three minute break. Um, so what it will do is the end of there. Now, if your video is shorter than your break, what it will do is just repeat your video. So it'll, it'll, it'll go back to the start and play it again. So I'm just going to cancel that. So we don't end the break. Um, we're just going to skip forward that one minute and 37 seconds and look at the dialogue that pops up once we have run out of time on our break. Just while we're waiting for that countdown, you can see that it continues to play the video uh, that, that we scheduled, of course, there's no issues there. What, would, what happened at that initial point is if somebody was watching the live on the other end of this live, now obviously I'm not live right now, but I'm just triggering it to test it. People would have seen that um, some people got ads, as I mentioned before, some people would have got an ad and then returned back to this video partway in. Some people would have just gone straight into the video because they don't, uh, don't have ads or they've recently had an ad so they don't need to be shown another one by YouTube. This is considered uh, non-interruptive because of course we're taking a break. There's nothing actually happening on the live stream to be interrupted uh, in, in, in the point of being alive. Now you can see we've run out of time. It says, hope you had a good break. Now I get the option to actually extend the break or I could resume. Uh, resume means to resume your stream. So if I extend the break, I can, I can, I can actually like go back and add an additional minute, three minutes or five minutes. So I have no problem in actually ending. You can see my video over on this side is just ending now and it's just restarted or gone back to the start. So that's what I wanted to show you that it does repeat. And that I can actually extend the time longer. Now I'm not going to extend the time longer. I'm going to cancel that. Now, cause I've canceled that. I don't go back to that previous dialogue box, but what I need to do is click end break again and then go resume. And what you'll notice over on Ecamm that will stop my video and kick me back to my live. So there's my live and there's my um, mug. So if you want to pick up this, I love live streaming mug, you can pick it up. There will be a, a link to the merch store in the description of the video. Hey, and it might even be pinned if I remember to pin it. <laughs> As you see, that's the basic gist of what happened. So think about how you can use this effectively. Not only is it helping you uh, in the middle of a lengthy stream to take a break and keep people on, of course you can make your own thing and do it in OBS or Ecamm or whatever you use. Maybe have a pre a preset video that you play, but this is like integrated and is also triggering an ad. So it's adding additional monetization options on the YouTube AdSense side, but it's also allowing you to use that time. Maybe you can promote something um, using a video. Maybe you can uh, drop in a sponsor video as the, as the break where you're telling people about maybe your consulting service or your, your merch or, or the, you know, the sponsor of the live stream who, you know, who might be sponsoring you, maybe it's, um, some supplements or some gaming codes or, or whatever, whatever it is that you do for your live stream. There's so many different types of live streams out there beyond gaming and beyond, you know, talking head, a lot of interviews, a lot of, a lot of amazing things, IRL stuff and more. Um, but whatever you use it for, keep in mind, you can be creative with this. Now at the time of recording. When you click on like the information for this, like where it says, learn more, where you typically go and it shows you a uh, more information, a page that says monetize your live stream. It has not been updated with any of this information. So this is like the first look and YouTube haven't even talked about this yet. This is like just been discovered in the last 24 hours by myself. And I thought I'll share it, get it out there. That is brand new information. I think people will be really interested. I think this could be a really interesting feature that you can uh, add to your live streams, uh, particularly if you are uh, like building them from scratch in something like OBS or Ecamm, where you can have that integration with YouTube. 
Now, if I happen to get more information about this, I'm going to drop maybe a supplemental or follow-up video uh, to let you know maybe YouTube has some more information. Maybe they expand the features a little bit more. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments below because I'm really interested. I know this. some people find this really interesting. If you really uh, uh, do a, a regular live stream, this could be helpful, um, particularly if you take long ones, if you're like doing two, three, four, five, six hours you're going to want to have to take a break. And this is maybe one way to do that where it actually benefits you monetarily because it's going to play that YouTube ad. You can also use that to entertain or to promote your own stuff, which I think is really cool. So let me know if you've got any creative ways to use this feature. I'll be interested. I'm interested. Like I usually do one hour live stream. So it's, I don't know if that's going to be totally beneficial for, do I need to take a break in an hour live stream? But maybe, you know, you get that knock on the door sometimes. Maybe you need to quickly jump in a five-minute break, even if it's not a hugely long stream, but you need to step away. And you can just trigger it at will. So I'm interested in what your thoughts are. And if you want to know more about some live streaming stuff that I've talked about in the past, and I've got this playlist here for you to check out about that, that monetization settings that were a few years ago and more. I talk about that. Even if you live stream on a mobile phone, we've got some stuff with it for you there as well. So this is Doug. And I'll catch you later.